Today's video, Greg's gonna cover the do's and don'ts of the apex structure, AKA the upper arch, right now. I've been getting a lot of direct messages lately on why my apex is completely out of balance. Well, there's one reason that sticks to my mind on how that can be. And I wanna be able to explain to you in detail how you're going to balance it every single time. I think the biggest mistake that a beginner will make is they start from the wrong area. And what I mean by that is they build from the front of the nail going back to the cuticle. I don't want you to do that. I want you, whether you are gluing a tip or actually sculpting a thin extension, after you do that, I want you to start from the cuticle first. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you what not to do, okay? So here's the thing. If you are a beginner and you successfully are able to get a form on, fantastic, okay? So the biggest mistake that a lot of beginners make when they're starting is that they build the free edge too thick, which is going to lead to a thicker front end and an out of balance apex. Let me explain. What a lot of beginners end up doing is they end up taking way too much product, okay? And then they start in the wrong area. Let's say they end up applying a really, really thick bead of acrylic to the front end, okay? And let's say you've got it down. Oh, great, I can actually get this sculpted and what I'm going to end up doing is getting a nice extension. So again, whether you are sculpting a free edge or you're gluing it on, you're achieving the same exact results. The only difference with sculpting is I don't need to physically glue anything on. So let's just say that you are in this position where you're actually able to sculpt a decent extension. A lot of mistakes that a beginner will do is they don't get this area too thin. So what they'll do is they'll end up just kind of applying the product onto the nail, right? And you can see that the acrylic here is actually raised. Okay, so this right here is going to set you up to making the upper arch a lot thicker. And what I mean by that is a lot of beginners start from the front and then they set the next pearl down here and then they set the next pearl down here. So they're building from the front to the back. And I'll show you what I mean. They end up getting way too much product again. I'm gonna go ahead and dab off the excess. And what they do is they end up applying another really, really thick bead back here. And then to prevent it from running, they end up brushing it over, right? So they end up brushing everything over to prevent it from running all over the place. Okay, you can see how thick this whole area gets. So again, whether you are sculpting or whether you are applying acrylic over the tip, if your second bead looks like a gigantic mound, you can see how raised this back end is. It's going to be very difficult for you to lay a pearl small enough and consistent enough in the back so that your upper arch is well balanced. Look what ends up happening if you end up taking way too much product, right? And you end up setting it down with a gigantic ledge. So like, you'll notice even if I come around and I try to pull forward, right? I end up building this massive mound. You can see how high this ends up building out. And not only that, I'm left with a gigantic ledge. You see the ledge around the cuticle area, right? Which is going to lead to a lot of problems when you actually have to finish the nail. It's going to be very difficult for you to finish the nail around the cuticle area so that it's flush. So again, whether you're sculpting or you're actually gluing a tip on, if you're starting from this point and working all the way to the back, it's very difficult for you to get balance through the arch because all you're doing is building it thicker and thicker and thicker as you're moving to the back end. 
So now what I wanna be able to show you is if you glue a tip on or you sculpt a tip that is flush to the natural nail, your starting point should not be at the tip or at the center of the nail. Your starting point should be at the cuticle area. So again, whether you are gluing a tip on or you're sculpting a tip, if I set a bead down here and I actually use my brush and sculpt this flush to the nail, you can see that I'm not actually going past it. I'm actually building this nice and tight, nice and flush to the surface. So I have a completely flat free edge. I don't have the acrylic built out super thick. My free edge is not thicker than the natural nail. I'm trying to sculpt it as flush to the natural nail as I possibly can. It's just like you were gluing a tip and then you have to blend it flush to the natural nail. That is how your extension has to be. So what this is going to do, it's going to set me up so that I can build balance through the upper arch. Where am I going to start? I'm going to start from the cuticle area first. So you're going to notice that if I pick up a large enough self-leveling bead and I set it right here to the cuticle area, notice where the bead runs as soon as I touch it nice and tight to the cuticle area. Look at the thickness, it's running down towards the center. So at this point, I don't wanna blend it all forward. I'm gonna pull from the front of the bead, okay? And it keeps, look at the balance, right? The thickness that I have. It's all well positioned for me to continue to fill towards the tip of the nail. If I feel that too much acrylic has moved forward, I could always use the body of my brush and kind of put pressure back so that it keeps everything well balanced. This is how you're going to be able to achieve a really, really nice, beautiful, natural looking arch without, again, applying way too much product. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set my second bead just like this. If I take the pearl and I set it right here and I brush backwards, look at how well it blends in. I'm not adding any bulk to that area. What it allows me to do is to feather the acrylic in and then whatever excess I have, I could use the body of the brush to start to force it down and rebalance the thickness down towards the tip of the nail. Perfect. So as you can see, right, I have filled the tip in. If there's any excess that you need to add at this point, my arch is going up, right? I have filled my tip. I might need a little bit of product right here at the side. So I don't need to add that much product. I could come in with my blending bead. I can come in with my blending bead and I can add it right here. So again, boom, kind of feather it up into the nail. I leave the excess right there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the body of my brush. I'm going to work it side to side. And then as I start to blend it forward, it fills in the space and creates beautiful balance all the way through. This way, when you sculpt the nail, right, you're going to be able to sculpt a well-balanced nail where it's not too thick here, it's not too flat, you have perfect harmony from free edge to cuticle area, that the only way to achieve that is by starting from the cuticle area first and working from cuticle to free edge. Thank you so much for watching our nail videos. To check out more, head right over here. And to subscribe to our channel, click right over here.